I have a problem. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Anyways, I bought a lot of books. <laughs> I am gonna show you what I bought because why not? Um, <coughs> it's dusty in here. Um, okay, so I bought a lot of books and I'm going to show you what I got. So, yeah, oh, oh, yeah that's good. Um, okay, so first of all, not these. I'm running out of place on my bookshelf, so I'm going to have to get another bookshelf relatively soon. First, I'm going to start with the stuff that I got a long time ago. I really wanted a dedicated book to Christopher Marlowe because the only first Christopher Marlowe play I read was The Tragical History of Dr. Faustus, and I wanted uh, more of his plays and works of art. So I went to Barnes & Noble and I asked them, hey, y'all got any... Do you... I've never said y'all in my life. That was so strange. Um, do you guys have any Christopher Marlowe books? So he typed on his little computer and he's like, oh yeah, this one, uh, we can order it for you. And I said, oh, okay, can you, can you bring up a list of what's in it? And he clicks it and he's like, oh, that's weird. It doesn't really have any information. I'm like, that's okay. I'll buy it. It's, you know, if it has Christopher Marlowe stuff in it, I'm sure it's just what I'm looking for. Spoiler alert, it wasn't. So it's the Elizabethan drama book and it didn't say... It, it says by Christopher Marlowe. By Christopher Marlowe. Christopher Marlowe, right? So you think like, cool, it's got Christopher Marlowe stuff in it. So you open it up and it has five plays and one Christopher Marlowe play and four Shakespeare plays. I was expecting Elizabethan drama, you know, obviously, but I did expect, you know, if it says by Christopher Marlowe, I expected at least... The majority of his stuff but it it just has you know hamlet clean clean lear as hamlet king lear macbeth and the temp the tempest which is cool and everything but i've got so many shakespeare books already i just you know and then one christopher marlowe play so um i will still be keeping it because i haven't read this christopher marlowe play so i'm gonna keep it anyways but still i was just like really b and n um, no, it's not even them. It's just, that's just how it is. Whoever put by Christopher Marlowe, though, on the top is, on the cover, on the, the, what is this called? The fucking cover, yeah. On the cover is kind of a dick. Next up, I got the Count of Monte Cro Cristo. The Count of Marty, the Count of Monte Cristo. Dumas. Dumas, Dumars, Dumas. I'm pretty sure we're related. We have to be, right? Right? That's my, that's almost my last name. Dumars, Dumas. Dumars, Dumas. Dumars, Dumas. Plus we're both writers. I mean, I don't know. But anyways, I got this because I did. So I was looking into Christopher Marlowe plays and I got onto some website talking about how I also butchered this guy's name. So I'm going to have this lady read it to you and then just insert it uh, when I butcher it the many times that I say it in this video. Enjoy. Goethe. Faust was the original Faust and then it kind of got lost and it was popularized by, the character of Faust was popularized by Christopher Marlowe's The Tragical History of Dr. Faustus. And so, <coughs> so I wanted to get the original Goethe. Faust. So I did. And then the last book that I got from Barnes & Noble, oh, was an Oscar Wilde book. Um, I really like the importance of being earnest, which I know is kind of random. So it yeah, has the importance of being earnest and four other plays. So cool, right? Yeah. Oh, no, I lied. I got one more book from, oh, this one's heavy. Uh, Barnes & Noble. I just got T.S. Eliot poems. And it's a big mother. It'd be funny if I blocked it out in it and then you thought that um, I was cussing, but I wasn't. Big mother budger. <laughs> Anyways, um, and I can already see that one of my animals has gotten to it and chewed on the cover. <laughs> so that's real neat. So I found a little bookstore in my town. I had seen it a while ago and I just kind of assumed like, oh, it's a bookstore. It's a, you know, a bookstore is a bookstore. But holy shit was I wrong. This bookstore is phenomenal. It's so fantastic. They have really old looking books and not even looking books, like really old books. And they're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. I went in there and I was like, oh no, 
Oh no, I'm gonna spend every dollar that I've ever earned in this place from here until the day I die. So anyways, I got some stuff there, so I wanted to show you. Uh, shall we begin? So I found these, they were $2, I just spit everywhere. They're $2 books, I'm too excited. Um, so I got, here is a serpent, <laughs> there is a serpent in Eden, and this is by Robert Block, who also wrote Psycho. I also got Agatha Christie N or M. This was two dollars as well, so that's cool. I love Chris. I love Agatha. I love Agatha Christie. This one's really cool. It's the Dennis Wheatley Library of the Occult: The Phantom of the Opera. Next up, okay. I also got a book of Lord Byron poetry. Look at how beautiful this was. This was five dollars. Five dollars. Five of them like one, two, three, four, and then a fifth one, and that's five, because this book was five dollars. And look at how beautiful it is. It's so beautiful. So anyways, I got this Lord Byron book. Let me just take a little gander on in here. Look at what's in here. Just poem after poem after poem. Oh my cat just fell. We've decided, I guess, that um, for our centerpieces for our wedding, I'm not like a huge flower person in general. They're pretty, don't get me wrong. But then you just pick them and they just die in two days and it's, I don't know. I don't want to spend thousands of dollars on flowers for my wedding. I think it's a bit silly. So for our centerpieces, we're going to do candelabras, which we we already did buy, and we're going to do books as well. So anyways, we I thought this would be a cool um, addition to our centerpieces. And then we also got uh, Moby Dick for $5 too. Um, okay, so these are like the... Oh my god, I'm so excited about these. These were a bit pricier. I think they were... 15, 20-ish books, books, no, <laughs> dollars, um, but even still, you know, 15 bucks, it's not bad. Look at how beautiful this book is. I don't think I've ever been so, uh, you know, by a book, like, it's so beautiful. I've never been so mesmerized by a cover of a book before. This is a book of Chaucer poetry, but the cool thing about this book, the publication date, I'm pretty sure was in the 1800s, which is insane. 1885, this book was published, but I am so excited for this book, you have no idea. So my fiance asked me when I got these, oh, are you gonna, you know, read them? And I said, oh, you know, these are older books, they're more fragile, so I... I'll take a peek at them and read them, obviously, but they're not going to be ones that I, like, throw in my purse and take with me to the store or whatever. Guess what happened? I bought another book. Yet, th By the way, I bought these two, this one and this one, yester yesterday. Yesterday, like, 24 hours prior to this. And my cat broke it. <sighs> so I'm a little heartbroken about this, but this one is Faust. was published in 1881. So... She's old and now she's broken and now my heart is broken. But anyways, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you a quick little thing of what I bought. This video had nothing to do with horror really other than like the few creepy books that I got. Uh, but I thought I'd just share with you what I got, what I bought over the past while um, because books are just a really important part of my life. Um, as important as horror is for me. Um, I think that's about it. And I'll see you in another three years when I decide to upload again. Okay, goodbye. Thank you for being a friend. Never has a shirt just spoken to my soul quite like this one. <laughs>